Welcome to the first pre-spawn video of the year. Folks, I'm going to be showing you what these fish look like on live scope. Also going to be talking about strategies on how to catch these fish. Folks, a lot of good hook sex go into this video. Stay tuned. Big fish. Please subscribe if you love this content. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Oh, that's our first fish of the day, folks. That is a beautiful thing. We are, look how fat that fish is right there. That's a beautiful, that's a, that's a solid, probably about a 14 incher. Big old belly. We're pre-spawn, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. These fish are starting to move from the deep to the points right outside of the coves where they wanna be, and that is a beautiful sight. Gosh dang, we're gonna let them go though, for sure. Man, it doesn't get any better than that, folks. Pre-spawn is where you can catch that three pounder. That fish had to weigh 1.8 anyway. That's the first drop, first toss, and uh, we're just trying to stay right outside of the coves because that's where they're moving. They're moving that way and uh, hitting points outside of those coves it's probably the first place I would check. And it's really easy. All I do is I drive around with my live scope and I start sweeping. And when I start seeing the dots, those are your crappies. It's suspended there, ready to go in. And they're just kind of hanging out, waiting, waiting for that water temperature to hit the, uh, the perfect degrees. So right now we're sitting at 45 degree water temperatures here. So, um, you know, we wait till about the 60 and they really start piling into those coves. So we're a little premature on the, on the pre-spawn, but, um, they're still moving in that direction. That's the key. All right, an, an aggressive black nose. So, you know, what's interesting about pre-spawn is that they still can be schooled up. That's a nice fish right there, good solid fish. Because they still can be, they still can be schooled up. And I'm gonna show you that right now. These fish can be schooled up, they can be individual. Um, I prefer to target individual, but um, we have one cove right now that's pretty muddy. That would be the one that we'd want to go to to try to target the individual ones. But we can still fish these schools even as the water gets warmer because they will stay together. So there's our school right there. I'm dropping in front of them as you can see it coming in. And then I make sure I start reeling a little early and there it is. Now we're set up to come right into them and it doesn't get any better than this right here. Um, I'm watching that weight right above it. And we're gonna see if we have any takers. And we did. So maybe with this guy right here, but since they're getting so close now, I might just pitch to him. I don't even have to cast. A little run with them a little bit. All right, so it's obvious that, you know, you're not going to get them to bite every time. Even pre-spawn, these fish are typically pretty aggressive. We're in the middle of the day. That might be the, the key here. But at the end of the day, they're not going to always bite. They're going to be finicky. You have to just continue to toss, change up your bait sizes. And uh, I love fishing schools, folks. But probably the thing I like to do even more than that is targeting these individual fish. So I'm going to target this guy right here. Looks like this one fish... I have to toss that in pretty early. Good fish, 16 foot down, which is a little interesting. So, I don't know, it could be a bass, but boy, it looks like a crappie. 
Come on, right on top of them. Oh, it could be a bass for sure. Not a crappie, but that was pretty cool, man. He acted like a crappie, that's for sure. It's really cool. So, um, for those that are just watching for the first time, I have an 8612 is what I use right here. I've got uh, a lot of great videos out there about the 8612. In fact, just a couple weeks ago, I released a video about live scope monitors, kind of walked you through all the different varieties of monitors that are out there and the ones that people are using the most. So check it out, I'll link it here above and uh, enjoy it because I think it's, you know, when I bought LiveScope for the first time, it was very daunting. What, you know, monitor should I get? Well, uh, it really does answer the question. And just to kind of give you a little bit of a teaser, I can tell you that biggest monitor always does not matter um, that you can afford. So don't get fooled by the nine inch, the nine inch screen I'm telling you right now. So, all right, so let's put some uh, more fish in the boat. We are searching right now for these fish. And it seems to me like earlier this morning there were individual fish a lot, but we are fishing more schools again, it seems like. But with all this warm weather, we've got a bluebird day today. It doesn't get any better than this. Um, I suspect these fish are gonna really start moving here in the next couple of weeks. A lot of times these, these you know piles are, once they get within about 20 feet of me, I'm just gonna drop on them, do a little pendulum. And that's what I just did there. Got a little activity here. Up here comes one from the bottom. Here we go. Come on, baby. Look, actually like bass. Seen a lot more bass activity today. I got him. I don't know. Oh, oh, he got off. I think that was a bass. I really do. Now, he never bit it. I was just watching that on screen and I, and I kind of figured that he had it, even though I never really felt it. Wish I would have kept it on there. I would like to know what that was. So we've got a school coming up here. Not a big school, but maybe big fish. There he is. I don't, I don't know how big he is, but eh, he's not gonna be very big, but he was fun. Always fun, always fun. So today. Oh yeah. Just a pretty fish to watch swim, man. Great fish right here. Just a good solid eater. The kind that you just love catching. Nice thump. Right there. Beautiful fish, folks. Beautiful fish. Go back to your school. I'm gonna try it. All right, a change of pace here. We're gonna change up rods. We're gonna change up baits. We're gonna go to a hair jig. Now, as most of you guys know, I'm sure, I'm sure a bunch of you know, I'm starting to sell some of my custom baits, the ones that I make personally. They work on the lakes that I'm fishing in these videos. I figured I'd tell you which ones are really doing the job if I use one of my baits. I don't always use one of my baits. I'll use Jinko, I use a lot of stuff. But the ones that I tie, if I use one and it's successful and I think it's worth sharing, you're gonna find that on my website, threepoundfishing.com. A lot of people have taken advantage of that. So for example, Darbone, the zombie was incredible. There's also a bait there that's called Darbone because it also was very good. In fact, it was great all the way up to uh, the event itself um, so they all have stories and um, and if there's a bait that's used in an episode I'll put it in there as well so you'll see a couple baits in there that have the actual the name of the episode that it was fished in on with so they're not perfect and I'm not doing it for a living folks so if it's not available it will not be on the website and I'm not gonna tie jigs all day long either so I'm just doing it for a select few of jigs, having fun with it, and we'll see. But right now, 
we are going to fish with something I call the clown. A double rig setup, casting, they're small, and I like the clown. I like the clown around. Not a big fish, but that's the first drop with the clown. That's hilarious. That's the clown right there. fish here. That's the clown doing its thing. You'll see the clown on the website folks. I think it's one of my favorite baits. Good fish there. Oh man. Heavy man. Heavy fish. Let them go. Hit the top one. That's cool. Hey folks, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Early pre-spawn. Get you some big fish right there. Good sized bellies. Have a great one. Follow us on the trails. I'm telling you, we got a lot of great tournaments coming up. Learn about those lakes. That's uh, it's always fun. If you haven't been to a lake to actually dissect it, break it down. That's what we're doing at all these lakes. Help, hoping it helps everybody when they go to these lakes that you know where to go, what to do, and that type of thing. I'm not going to give you GPS points, but we're going to show you exactly what we do when we hit these new lakes. So, Three Pound Fishing Elite Series rods should be back in stock now at OzarkRods.com. Check them out and uh, have a great spring.